Antonov in 132 program was started in April 2015 in the cooperation agreement between Ukrainian Antonov and Saudi Arabian King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology. Also, another agreement signed with Taknia Aeronautics Company, a subsidiary of Saudi Company for Technological Development and Investment, in May 2015 to develop and manufacture the AN-132 light cargo planes in Saudi Arabia. Under the agreement, King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology, Taknia Aeronautics Company and Antonov will redevelop the existing N-32 aircraft to produce a new variant with improved payload and range characteristics. The agreement will also enable transfer of the technology to Saudi Arabia. AN-132 Design and Features The Antonov N-132 has gone from drawing board to international air display in remarkably quick time. It was revealed at Le Bourget in 2015 and the N-132 demonstrator flew at Kiev on March 31, 2019. The N-132 is a joint venture between Ukraine's Antonov and Saudi partners King Abdulaziz City of Science and Industry and Taknia Aeronautics Company. Derived from the N-32 of 1976 itself a development of the N-24 of 1955, the N-132 has been significantly modernized and westernized. Its engines are Pratt & Whitney Canada PW158 turboprops driving six-bladed Dowdy R408 propellers. The two-person cockpit features Honeywell Primus Epic 2.0 avionics. Other Western suppliers include Leap Hair and Cruzet. Although the fuselage cross-section is the same as the venerable N32, the only common component carried over from the N2630 seconds family is the tail ramp. The N132 has a MTAU of 31.5 tons, giving an increase in payload to 9.5 d from 70 on the N32. The new engines and propellers give improved hot and high performance, allowing operation on runways up to 4,000 meters altitude and improving fuel performance. The flight from Kiev to Le Bourget used only 900 kilograms of fuel, says Dr. Alexander Loss, head of Antonov's design organization. In April 2019, Antonov has been confirmed the termination of the cooperation with Saudi Arabian partners by Alexander Donets, the president of the company, in an interview with the local Newswire Union. For reasons not related to the Antonov state enterprise, a change of the program partner occurred in Saudi Arabia and the process has been halted, Donets admitted. Donets explained that the Saudi military services were expected to become the launch customer for the N-132 but have now decided that they need a slightly different airplane. The head of Antonov nevertheless insisted that the project is not being scrapped and the company is instead looking for a new customer. We are looking for both a customer and a partner, he said. What is the current situation for N-132? Antonov currently looking for new customers for N-132. Currently India is the best candidate. Ukraine is currently upgrading the AN-32 transport fleet of the Indian Air Force under a deal finalized in 2009. Of the over 100 aircraft, 40 were upgraded in Ukraine and the remaining are to be done by the Indian Air Force Base Repair Depot in Kanpur, with upgrade kits supplied by Antonov. Ukraine has in the past pitched its AN-132 transport aircraft as a replacement for the Indian Air Force's AN-32 fleet.